Welcome back. And I am here with Atomic Kings and Broken Toys frontman, Ken Rock. Thank you for joining me today, Absolutely. Ken. Absolutely. Pleasure. Great, great, great. What's going on with you? Uh, busy. Busy. Busy, busy. Um, just got back from Dallas um, with the Atomic Kings. Um, we have another show in Louisiana. Um, and then actually we have a show here in November. And uh, Broken Toys, we play out once or twice a month and keeping you pretty busy there, huh? Yep. Um, um I'd like that t-shirt. What do we what do you have on there today? Atomic Kings. Atomic Kings. And that's a crown uh all that. Yeah, this is just kind of a new logo they just uh, put together. It's a crown and and uh, awesome. some flame. I and love that and yeah. I love the colors. I, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask. What inspired you to be a musician? Um, well, I don't have any idea. No. Um, do you have you musicians know, in the family? Yeah. My, my dad was kind of a musician and I had a couple of friends that were musicians. And for me, um, a couple of friends of mine had gotten together and they were playing music and they didn't have a singer. So I was just giving one of them a ride each time they would get together and uh, one of the times I went in and just and just kind of sang. Um, also, a lot of music videos um, that I would watch would, you know, I just, I want to do that right there. And so awesome. one thing led to another. And Yeah, well, maybe we're going to have to do a duet. 30 years later, here I am. We, we may have to do a we're duet doing a one. Duet. Yes, yes, yes. You're on the spot. Yes. You know, you you just have such a cool look to yourself. I love that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just checking out those snakeskin boots you're wearing today. May have to borrow those one day. Absolutely. <laughs> um, if you can describe the type of music you um, play, could you tell me what that would be like? Um, you know what? I was influenced by a really wide variety. Um, I love Paul Rogers and Bad Company. Freddie Mercury is a big influence. Lionel Richie, mm. um, Glenn Campbell. So my... My taste is very wide. That's great. Musically. That's great. And I know as an artist, I mean, my taste is very wide. I I, I love a variety of Absolutely. artists. I, I can't say that I'm stuck on one genre of music. Yeah, you get bored. Yes, you do get bored. If um, someone was to compare you to an, another artist, is there someone you would say you they could compare you to? You know, it, it's like, I don't know. It's it's like trying to know if your kids are good looking or not. You know, you just, you're too close to it. Like, I don't really know who I sound like or mm. or any of that. That's kind of something somebody else would have to listen to and say he sounds like this or he sounds like that. Okay. So I, I don't know if I, you know, um, you're and such it's a probably cool different guys. Have, I mean, what does what do the ladies say? Um, well, I've been married for thirty one years. Oh. Okay. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, I don't know. They don't say much. They don't say much. Yeah. They're just in awe listening to the music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Um, do you write about your life experiences? Um, a lot of the writing is some of it, you know, to, to write music or, or write m movies or anything, you have to have a really good imagination. And, and I think I do. So, you know, I can uh, I can be sitting somewhere and see something or or hear something or it's amazing because uh, a lot of times you wake up in the middle of the night and and you had some crazy epiphany and you'll go write it down. So it, it really comes from all different places. It's never the same. It's wow. never the same twice. Wow. Yeah. So how long have you been writing music? Thirty five years. My, you know. If there was an artist that's alive or that's passed on that you could work with, who would that be? Hmm, what a great question. Um, you know, I'm, I've 
I love Ray Charles. Um, I would love to just sit down and talk to Ray Charles. Um, I, you know, I love Robert Plant. I would, I would like to sit down and talk to him. Um, as far as working with them, those are both singers. So I don't know how that would work from that standpoint, but, um, those, those would probably be two of my favorite guys to sit down with. Wow. You know what? I, I love Ray Charles mm -hmm. music. I would love to, if I could just have five minutes just to sit and listen to him perform. Oh, I would absolutely. love that. Oh, absolutely. His voice was amazing. Yes, it was. Thank you for joining us again. Absolutely. I've, I've enjoyed you so far. So what can we expect from Ken Runk? Um, uh, Atomic Kings, actually, we're going to be going into a studio um, at the end of summer, and that is Greg Chase on, on bass, Ryan McKay on uh, guitar, and Jimmy Taft on drums. And we're going to be recording a full-length album under Helophonic Music. And a couple of shows coming up. And Awesome. Anything local that we can perhaps we do, go and check out? We have a local show uh, in November. It's November 13th called Nomad Fest. Um, which is actually going to be our first local debut. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we're awesome. looking forward to it. You know what? I, I was told today also that you're an actor. Well, that you'll have to make your own determination on that. <laughs> <laughs> I act, but I don't know if I'm an actor. Oh, okay. But. Okay. Well, I heard that you're going to also perform for us today. Maybe yeah. so. Maybe so. <laughs> I have been looking forward to this. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll do a little piece of a of an original song. Wonderful, wonderful. Absolutely. This is a this is a kind of a weird little song um, called Aunt Bob, really. Aunt Barb. Aunt Bob. Oh. It. You know what? It was it was funny because I specifically named it that because it has nothing to do with the song, and everybody always tries so hard to for the title to match the song, and I did completely opposite. So. Um, but it's a song called Aunt Bob. Okay. I wanna love you tonight. I wanna love you forever. Just wanna make it right. I wanna show you now or never. Cry off building fences. Don't close your mind. Stop building fences if you feel my pain. Getting way too close to me. If you feel my pain. Getting way too close to me. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for beautiful. having me. My pleasure. So how did you come up with the name? The name of the song? Yes. You know, actually, we were building a studio, and um, a friend of mine uh, had an uncle. And he's probably going to hate me for telling <laughs> the story, but it he had one of those aunts that looked like his uncle. <laughs> she was one that had, like, the whiskers, and she kind of was manly. And we used to laugh and joke about it. So <laughs> the name of the song came up. We, we named it Aunt Bob. Well, that's a beautiful song. Crazy as So it is. Aunt Bob Thank you should so much. be proud. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt <laughs> Thank, Bob. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for joining us. This Absolutely. was such a pleasure. My, absolutely and I was. love the music. Thank you. So where can our audience find you? Uh, Atomic Kings. Uh, we just launched a website. Um, and it is also on Facebook. Broken Toys has a Facebook page as well. And... Led Zeplified is uh, managed by Tad Management. So you can find that on Tad Management as well as Facebook. Awesome, awesome. So you can find Mr. Ken Ronk on Facebook, and you can also find him on Desert Woods' Facebook page also.